Today I'm making a super lightweight table that's still strong enough to support my weight even though it weighs less than 19 pounds. I made the table out of polycarbonate panels. It's a translucent plastic that's quite strong and UV resistant. It's not a solid material and is often used to construct greenhouses. I figured out some interesting ways of mixing in epoxy to close the ends and did some experimentation with different ways to add mechanical fasteners into panels that are mostly air. The panel I'm using is about one inch thick and I'll put a link to it in the description below. It comes in clear or in this sort of milky white semi-translucent color called opal. I'm just using my normal power tools to cut it, but I did use a fine tooth blade on my circular saw. The tabletop that I'm making is five and a half feet long and 30 inches wide. On the rip cuts, I tried to line up the saw with the vertical walls in the panel. That way I just don't have as many of those little fins flapping on the edges. I wanted to test and see how strong it was and I saw that it was bending quite a bit. So I cut some thin strips to act as stretchers that will help reinforce the tabletop pretty much the full length of it. These stretchers are just under three inches wide and I gave the ends a little taper just for aesthetic reasons. I feel angled legs always look a little fancier for DIYs. So I cut some panels about 11 inches wide and then drew an angled line across them so they could cut pairs of legs two at a time. I want the legs at an angle, so I just measured down a few inches from the top, drew a line to the corner, and trimmed that. I then used the first piece to mark the lines on the next piece. I need to trim the feet side of the table legs now, and I want that angle to be parallel to the angle that goes underneath the tabletop. I want 28 inch long legs, so I just used a 28 inch long board to trace parallel lines that I then cut along with my circular saw. Attaching the stretcher is the interesting part. I found that a half inch aluminum flat bar fits snugly inside the polycarbonate channels. So I drilled some holes and then cut pieces anywhere from about two to three inches long. Aluminum's actually not that hard to cut with woodworking tools, although can dull your circular saw blades a bit. I drilled a hole and then used my knife to cut slots through the outer layer of the panels. This way I can kind of slide these aluminum tabs in with a bolt in place and then kind of tuck them into that channel. Another thing I wanted to experiment with was closing the ends of the panels with epoxy. So I got some mold tape and some scrap melamine and made a trough that was about a quarter inch bigger on the long sides and about an inch and a half long on the, on the ends. This is just a quick and dirty mold so they can submerge the end of the table into about an inch of epoxy. The polycarbonate comes with a protective film that peels off really easily, way easier than typical acrylic. And I mixed up some Total Boat Deep Set Fathom, poured it into the trough mold, and then stuck in the tabletop. After letting epoxy cure for about three or four days, I broke away the mold, this tape worked great by the way, and was able to see these epoxy breadboard ends. I trimmed the ends with my circular saw, and before I could use my flush trim router to remove the excess epoxy on the outside of the polycarbonate, I just trimmed it down a little bit so that my router bit would reach across. I then switched to a roundover bit and gave the ends of the table a nice radius. The epoxy mills really nicely, but I did get a couple small chips in the much harder and more brittle polycarbonate. Not a big deal though, I just kind of sanded those out. I had all the bolts placed on the underside of the tabletop and I just lined up the stretchers and then drilled holes all the way through them. Now I want to hide the ends of the bolts, so I just cut some access ports so I could tighten the nuts on some washers in a way that's all concealed within the polycarbonate stretcher. I'm putting some short stretchers in between each pair of legs. So I just lined up two legs, 
drilled holes that matched, and then ran some threaded rod through those legs and through the stretcher itself, just in the natural cavity that exists within the polycarbonate, and then added some washers and nuts. Now I can place these leg assemblies inside the two stretchers, and I'm just using some total boat two-part epoxy glue to glue them in place. Now I think the epoxy glue is strong enough, but if you want to play it a little bit safe, you could add some quarter inch bolts just for a little extra structural insurance. I had plenty of material left over from the single four foot by eight foot sheet, so I just cut some additional stretchers and epoxy glued these in between the legs. That just provides a little more lateral stability. Glue and threaded rod would increase the strength, but I didn't want a whole bunch of threaded rod ends sticking out. Now, for the threaded rods that are showing, I covered them up with little epoxy Mandalorian helmets. I have this ice cube tray, and whenever I have leftover epoxy, I just fill it up with that, so I have all these little cool plastic Mandalorian heads. I didn't need to sand too much, but I did hit the ends with 220 grit on my orbital sander just to nicely blend the epoxy ends to the polycarbonate. For the long rip cut where I don't have a factory edge, I had little fins sticking out that were about 16th to an eighth of an inch, and I just actually trimmed those with a sharp box cutter blade. Now this is a fixed leg design, but I think with a little adaptation you could make a super lightweight folding table that hangs on a wall. For that I would add wider stretchers in between the leg. This table weighs just under 19 pounds and that includes the epoxy and all the hardware, which is way lighter than a plywood table with a similar design. I've done a few polycarbonate projects in the past, but I'm still building up familiarity with the material. See, I like to get something like this, experiment, think about it, experiment a little more before tackling a big project with a new material. But that's coming soon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out all the tool links in the description box below. Bye.